So today's vlog, I'm on a quest to answer a question that a lot of parents have asked me through the years, and that is, is there a connection between ADHD and anger? I, I'll be honest with you, I, I didn't really feel that there was a connection. And I think that sometimes that when you're the individual that has ADHD and you're trying to evaluate and look back and, and see how you were in different situations, it's a different perspective than from the people outside your world parents, teachers, coaches, and so I felt compelled to give my mom a call and uh, force her to go back in history and find out some answers to some questions as far as how I might have responded and if I had any type of anger issues, and it was an interesting conversation. Calling my mom, get a little back history on how I used to be, you know, the whole ADHD thing. Hi, good morning, Susan Glenn. How are you? Susan Workaba. Hey, uh, you're on the air with Ben Glenn, and uh, so don't swear. <laughs> did, growing up, did I have anger issues? When you grew up, um, you did have, well, you did have anger issues. You had some No, but okay, that's why I'm calling because I don't remember a lot of these stories. So, you know, you had this anger that you just wanted to go and punch, and and, and if you have some place to get that anger out, sure. Instead of instead of um, going after anything and everything, right? I mean, I mean for years. I didn't know the things that you went through, like getting your head bashed in the bus. You wanted contact sports like that. Right. You weren't really, I mean, you, you liked the basketball, but you loved the football. Right, right. You yeah. know, so, well, that's interesting. Yeah, it is. Okay. Mm -hmm. I love you, Ben. Thank you for calling. All right, I love you too. Talk to you later. Okay, bye-bye. Bye. -bye. bye. That's some fascinating stuff. I've got a daughter who is six years old, Anastasia, and apparently my mom tells me that she is a clone of me. And he's got these two sides. But the distance from going from being okay to not being okay is the window is very, very, very small. Sometimes I forget that ADHD is a chemical imbalance of the brain. I forget that and I have it. I forget that it's an issue with executive functioning. And the easiest way to think about executive functioning is people that don't have a struggle do this. Ready, aim, fire. There's a process there. You get ready, you take aim, and then you make the, you know take action. Where people that struggle with executive functioning, it's more along these lines. Fire, ready, aim. She will do things... Realize she should have done those things, and now she's backtracking, and, and she's angry, and she's paying for the consequences of her actions, and, and she's confused, and, and, and she doesn't know why she's done certain things. And I'll ask her, Annie, why did you do this? Why did you jam six rolls of toilet paper into the toilet? She'll give me that look of confusion, and then quickly come up with some kind of an excuse or a lie. I wanted to see if they'd float. In the conversation with my mom, I think the interesting thing that she told me that makes a lot of sense is that I was a determined child. When I wanted something, it's all I wanted. It was all I could focus on, and, and it reminded me of the common phrase used uh, in ADHD circles, hyper-focused. And I see that in Anastasia, in that when she wants something, there's a determination, and there there's a reckless abandonment. She doesn't think about the consequences. She doesn't think about her actions. She just goes and, and does and gets what she wants her kids but she doesn't realize that though her brain is saying I want what that other child has grabbing it out of their hands and claiming it for her own is is inappropriate there becomes a conflict and then that conflict becomes a fight and the anger then ensues and she's very good at being a brute someone's gonna get hurt 
So after having a conversation with my mom and looking at my relationship with my six-year-old daughter and reading some articles online, I think the answer is yes. There is a connection between ADHD and anger. So I want to encourage you parents that are dealing with this right now. In my next vlog, I'm going to dive in, do some strategies and techniques on how to manage that anger and how to deal with some of those frustrating ADHD situations. Hey, this is Ben Glenn, and as always, I want to encourage you to do one thing. Keep moving forward. God bless.